In this video, we will understand about law of supply. Now, just like the law of demand, there is a law of supply also. Okay. Now, if you see, there are various factors which affect supply. Okay. Amongst them, some of the one prominent ones are price of related goods, price of the good itself. Okay. Changes in technology, right? Government policy in form of taxes, input costs. Now, how each of them affect the supply of goods is something which we are going to see in some of the more videos where we discuss each one of them individually. Right? The law of supply, coming back to it, which is the main topic, the law of supply says that other things or rather other factors when I say other factors, basically I'm referring to the price of related goods, changes in technology, government policy, input costs, etc. So this says the other factors or other things, other things will include some other factors also which affect supply, but these are the prominent ones. Remaining the same which means that if all of them do not affect supply, other things remaining the same, the quantity of goods supplied is directly related to the price of the good. Now what does this mean? So we have assumed all these factors remain the same, meaning thereby that they do not impact supply in any manner, whether by way of an increase or decrease. So you have the price you have the supply. Let's read this. Other factors, things remaining the same, the quantity of goods supplied is directly related to the price of the goods. What does this mean? So let's say if the price of the goods increase, okay, the supplier will benefit more if he sells more so therefore he will also increase the supply of goods why let me explain it to you let's say the cost of making a good is 10 rupees right if the price is 12 supplier or the seller is going to make a profit of what is profit profit is selling price minus cost price, selling price is 12, minus CP is 10, 2. Now if this price increases from 12 to 14, so there is an increase in the price, the profit of the supplier is going to increase from 14 minus 10 is equal to 4. So from 2 his profit has increased to 4. Therefore he will be benefited more to sell more goods at a particular price. 
So therefore, as the price of the commodity increase, the supplier will increase the supply of the goods. On the contrary, if the price of the commodity decrease, so instead of 12, if this becomes, let's say, 10. So how much is the profit he is making? Which is selling price, which is 10 minus cost price. He is not making any profit. So he is going to decrease the supply of goods. Why? I mean, even after selling this, I don't make any money. Why should I even sell it? So I will hold more to my goods. I will not supply them and wait for the time when the price increases. So the law of supply says that as the price increase, the supply will also increase. As the price decrease, the supply is also going to decrease. Okay.